Hi, we're going to teach you how to fill down with this one. Uh, in order to uh, follow along, you should be on the fill down with formulas sheet, um, not the intro to sheets. So go ahead and click on fill down with formulas. And we're going to practice filling down a little bit. So what filling down is, is basically it's a useful feature within most spreadsheet programs in which the program will actually recognize certain patterns, uh, things along those lines, and it will help you fill out formulas so you don't have to retype them over and over um, and just fill them down for you. There are many different ways. We're going to start with the most basic way to do this, which is clicking and dragging. So to start off, I'm going to say, uh, let's pretend we have some x values, which are uh, x equals 0, x equals 1, x equals 2, 3, 4, etc. Now, maybe it goes down to 10. I'm kind of lazy. I don't really want to type in all 10 numbers. Now, that might not seem like much, but at some point you may have 100 numbers that you have to type in for x, and you really just want to fill it down really quickly. So what you do instead is you click and drag to highlight the data that you are interested in. Uh, in this case, 1, 2, 3, 4. And Sheets is going to recognize that pattern if I go ahead and click on this bottom blue box down here. Notice that my cursor goes from a mouse to a crosshair. That signifies that I'm on the box. If I click on it and drag, I can extend that down, and it will automatically fill in my form or my pattern for me. It will keep it going as long as I need it to. In this case, I'm going to have it just stop at 10, so I'm going to go ahead and delete those last two. Now, if I, for example, had a y value that I wanted to eventually plot um, that was y equals 2x, I could go ahead and say, okay, 0, then 1 times 2 uh, is 2, and I could try and do it in my head. Alternatively, I could say equals and then be like, okay, so it's 2 times uh, the value of x, which was 2, and then say equals, and it's 2 times the value of 3, which is great, but that's going to take a while. And even if I took these two and filled it down, that's not always as useful. Um, notice that even with just hitting, in this case, 0 and 2, selecting those two and then filling down, it will recognize that pattern and fill it out. I'm going to delete that because there's actually a more useful, long-term, um, beneficial way to do this, which is if I know that y is equal to 2x, and this is my y column, I can say equals 2 times and then I can select the X cell. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And what we're going to see is it equals 0. So 2 times 0 equals 0. And we can see here that it's referencing the cell, which means if I change this cell to 1, it changes this one to 2. If I change the cell to 100, it changes it to 200. So we can see how that would be really useful for kind of seeing the effects of different changes. Now, the cool thing about uh, Sheets and Excel programs is that it will remember this formula and it will predict that you want to include that formula in the future cells. So if I select this one and I click and drag down, then we'll notice that it fills down that same exact formula for all of these. Now, the difference is that in each cell, as we go down, it's actually changing which cell it's referencing. So this one, it said, oh, you wanted to reference uh, A2 up here? Then we're guessing that in A or B3, you're going to want to reference A3. So essentially, it's as you go down a row, it also goes down a row for the formula. As you went over a column, if you instead were dragging the formula out to the right, it would move over a column with what it's referencing. So it's a pretty cool way to fill down formulas in this way. We're going to practice it one more time. So in this case, if I wanted to do z equals x times y, I could say equals, I select my x value, then I say times, and then I select my y value. In this case, it's a2 and b2. I hit enter and it multiplies those two. If I click and drag, we can see that this next cell multiplies a3, this one, and b3. If you want to check what it's multiplying, you can double click on it and in editing it will show you which two cells it's kind of referencing in this sense. Once I'm happy with that, I can go ahead and click and drag and fill this all the way down. We can see that it will multiply these two columns together for everything. So that's the real basics of how to fill down with formulas. This gets super useful for averaging. So if I wanted to average all of my numbers, I could do something like equals and average and select these three cells and then click and drag to fill down that formula and it would average each of the rows. That's it for this training. Uh, next time we will work on how do you tell it to only pick one cell 
um, the entire time rather than having it change which thing it's referencing each time.